clearly Tesla is planning for 500 kilowatt charging. There is no other possible reason why their new chargers would be able to charge at this speed if they're not intending to actually have electric cars. The Tesla branded that charge at 500 kilowatt. But honestly, what interests me even more is the potential of 1.2 megawatt charging. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. You're watching The Electric Viking. Um, I've just gotten home from China. I have been charging an EV here that I'm reviewing on a review for you guys. It's a new electric car. Review will be up in a few days using my solar. My solar has been just powering this EV. If you want to do the same at your house, you should. I'll put a link in the description to Resync Solar and they'll be give you a, a bit of a discount if you mention who I am. By the way, I don't get any kickbacks from that. Tesla have revealed their new V4 superchargers and these chargers can charge at 500 kilowatt DC charging. Currently, only the Tesla Cybertruck is capable of charging at anything above 250 kilowatt. The Cybertruck can charge it up to 400 kilowatt using chargers in Europe. Hasn't been shown to do that in America, but for some reason it will in, it will in Europe, 400 kilowatt charging. So in theory, if Tesla was to take the architecture in the Cybertruck and use that in other EVs in the future, which I imagine it probably will, you know, 48 volt, not that that's relevant, but anyway, if Tesla was to use that, then you could potentially charge new Tesla electric cars at 400 kilowatt, but that's not 500, is it? I mean, not even the Cybertruck charges at 500 kilowatt. So why are Tesla launching new V4 superchargers? Well, I think that they do intend to reveal new cars, right, that can charge at 400 kilowatt. It just makes too much sense. So 500 kilowatt would mean you could charge your car in around 10 minutes. How do we know it's around 10 minutes? Because Zika can already do this with their EVs in China. And it's at 10.5 minutes where they charge at about this speed. It's a peak speed of about 560 kilowatt. And then, of course, it comes back down. But they can charge it around 10.5 minutes from 10 to 80%. That's the future I think we're going to see for Tesla as well. I think Tesla knows what Zeke is up to. It knows what some of these other Chinese automakers are doing. And it's like, well, okay, we need to do the same thing. It could be a year or two off. I don't know. But I see the new Tesla Model Y, not this year, but potentially the following year. New cars coming from Tesla with 800 volt architectures and the ability to charge 500 kilowatt, which is just game changing. It's insane. You won't be able to say it's too slow. I can't wait for charging speeds. That would be, just be stupid if you can. If it's only 10 minutes to charge your car. However, to me, what's even more important than this is getting trucks. Because, you know, diesel semis and trucks, they cause so much of the emissions we, we breathe. A huge percentage of emissions on the road comes from freight, from hauling. So the fact that Tesla is unveiling these new superchargers that can also charge trucks and big buses and things like that at a 1.2 megawatt is probably more game changing than 500 kilowatt EV chargers. 1.2 megawatt is the future. And it means that you have to charge trucks in probably around 30 to 40 minutes. That's really fast. But if you only want to charge, say, you know, 20 to 80%, you might be able to do that in around 20 minutes with that kind of charging, possibly even less. I mean, that's crazy. That means that really diesel trucks are dead. I mean, why on earth would you want one? They're way more expensive to, run, to operate, to run, take a lot more servicing. They can't get to the destination as quickly as, a, as an electric truck because we know that they're really, really slow when ho carrying a load. I've been doing a lot of driving in, in EVs lately, do, going to the Sydney EV show. And there's been situations where there's really dangerous situations where you see these semis going up hills, you come around a, you come around a corner on a freeway, everyone else is doing 120 kilometers an hour, or you know, maybe 70, 80 miles an hour. There's a truck doing 15 miles an hour. It's so dangerous. So that, that danger will be basically nearly eliminated. By the way, guys, yesterday I was stuck in traffic for two hours because there was a truck that had crashed. Uh, in fact, two trucks had crashed into each other I don't know exactly what happened, but I honestly think electric trucks will be much safer. They have better torque vectoring and they have weight much lower rather than having a, a big diesel, massive diesel engine right up high in that engine bay. You can spread that weight out low at the base of the vehicle, much safer. That center of gravity is much lower. So I'm really, really looking forward to electric semis. I think they're gonna make an enormous difference around the world. Now here in Australia, there's a Chinese manufacturer called Windrose and they have basically copied the Tesla Semi. <laughs> so Tesla's not coming to Australia anytime soon with their Semi. They've got too much demand in the United States and then of course Europe as well. But 
Chinese Chinese truck makers are. And this new Winrose has around 400 miles, apparently more than 400 miles of range. So it's got enough range. They have tens of thousands of orders. I mean, that's just Australia. Imagine what these trucks, how well they're gonna sell. These big truck makers like Kenworth, and you know, these big companies, man, if they don't start making you know, affordable electric trucks with a long range soon, then they're in big trouble of being disrupted, big, big trouble. So these Tesla superchargers, they are gonna change the game, not just for EVs, not just for trucks, but for the perception of, you know, all these gas car fans, these internal combustion fans who are so stuck on this idea that it takes too long to charge an EV. I think it's gonna be game changing for, for Tesla owners, for Tesla supercharger users, that could mean that you own any car, but also for all of us as a whole. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.